Hi, and welcome to 5 Minute Statistics for Clinical Research. My name is Caroline Herborn, and I am part of the Biostatistics team at GCP Service International. Biometry, or also called biostatistics in the broadest sense, describes the process of developing and using statistical methods to gain knowledge from biological data. While biological data may refer to very different types of information, we will put the focus on clinical trials. In today's episode, we want to talk about what biometry or biostatistics really covers and what exactly it is that biostatisticians are doing. It is a widely spread view that biostatisticians should be involved only after data has been collected. But involving a biostatistician in all aspects that relate to the statistical evaluation of the trial already in the planning phase can efficiently save time and money throughout the whole duration of the trial. But why is it important from the beginning on? What is a biostatistician doing? Let us break this down into three phases of each trial. First, the planning phase, which starts with the first idea of the clinical trial until just before starting with the recruitment of the first patient. Secondly, the active phase, which starts with the recruitment of the first patient and ends when all trial participants have completed the trial. And finally, the closeout phase, which includes all activities after all participants have completed the trial. In the planning phase, a biostatistician has an important impact on the structure and type of the study, most importantly starting with the definition of the objective of the trial, which can involve one or multiple options at this stage. It should then be decided with the help of a biostatistician and considering scientific and logistical aspects, which objective is most likely to result in a successful and meaningful trial, usually given a limitation in time and money. This is where the biostatistician advises on endpoints for the trial that should be objectively measurable and clearly defined. It has to be defined if the trial is of confirmatory nature or solely exploratory as well as the number of treatment arms and how they are embedded in the trial design. Only then the important factor sample size can be provided by the biostatistician. It has a large influence on the costs, logistics and duration of a clinical trial. Further aspects in this phase of the trial that involve biostatisticians are decisions regarding the use and kind of randomization, whether interim analysis can and should be conducted, and how exactly the primary endpoint of the trial will be analyzed. All of this will be formalized in a clinical study protocol or clinical investigation plan. Biostatisticians will also support setting up the randomization and ideally also how data will be collected in the trial. Keyword, case report forms. They will support the study team regarding any questions that concern the analysis of data. So during this planning phase of the trial, the involvement of a biostatistician can not only optimize the use of resources for the planned trial, but also maximize the success probability of a clinical trial. During the active phase of the trial, biostatisticians monitor the ongoing trial and provide support for making decisions that may impact the analysis at the end of the trial. They may further be involved in assisting in monitoring data and conducting any interim analysis foreseen for the trial. At best, the biostatistician will also set up a statistical analysis plan that describes the technical details of the entire trial analysis in more detail before the analysis must be done. This has the advantage of clarifying analysis, result outputs and of preventing bias during the analysis of the data. Finally, in the closeout phase, a final check of the data and any preconditions for the analysis will usually be performed and the database locked. Only after that, all data will be provided to the biostatistician and analyzed according to the planned analysis. In clinical trials, this must be done using validated software such as SAS, which is the gold standard for clinical trials. Once the results are available, a clinical study report or clinical investigation report must be written, which is generally also reviewed by the biostatistician to confirm that all results were interpreted correctly. At the very end, the biostatistician must also ensure that all data relevant for biostatistics are documented and archived correctly. So that is it for today. As you could see, biostatisticians play an important role in clinical trials and can help in making your trial efficient and successful. If there are any additional questions, our team is happy to help you out. Leave us a message at statistics at gcp-service.com or leave a comment below.
If you are significantly satisfied with the content, make sure to subscribe to not miss the next video.